what I think I'm best at, possibly, is making tea. Um, even though, you know, that's quite a rare occurrence now, though, unfortunately. But um, no, um, it, I think it's enabling people to record the ideas that they've got in their head, um, being able to listen, being able to listen to songs and come up with ideas that maybe put a different twist on the song. Um, it's about making good recordings, um, trying to be creative with sounds. Yeah. Um, my mixes sound alright. Yeah. Um, they're going to sound great on the radio. Um, you know, the, the better the recording, the better the mix you're going to get as well. Um, it, it's and making decisions and committing to ideas and not being afraid to try things out, even though you know what, hey, it might not work every time. But if you don't try and you don't go there, you're never going to find that out. So it's yeah, you know, never say die. Keep going. You know, be committed. I love creating. I love working with bands that are creative and exciting and that you know I find their music exciting you know I mean, music is a gift and you know people like me are lucky to be working with you know the the creative people you know and if we can bring something to them and help them see their ideas through that's you know that makes me happy I think you, you never stop learning uh, I think once you think you know it all that's you know you might as well stop then it's, you know, you just the same. You know, you're as good as your last record, and you know, if your next one's not better than that, then yeah. You know, or if you don't perceive your record, your next record to be better than that, it's you know, you know what are you doing? You know, you've always got to try and better yourself and move forward and you know, be creative. Try and learn. Try and keep pushing yourself. Um, you know, if if you fall into a comfort zone where everything that you think, you know, you're doing, you think is oh yeah, that's great, yeah, that'll do. It's it's not, you know, that'll do isn't good enough because it doesn't make any different to anyone else. Sometimes no, I think there's there's too many options and it's kind of all oh, yeah that looks good or yeah, and a lot of the time we've you know, plugins and their interfaces, you just kind of get drawn to them and it's kind of, does it really sound great or are you just using it because it looks great and it's there, you know, um, I think, you know, when you're limited you have to think, okay, how am I going to do the best with this now, you know, what, what is the best that I can potentially get out of this, you know, um, what is, you know, okay, so I've got, I've got two compressors, what am I going to use them on? lead vocal, bass, so what am I going to do with everything else? Okay, well, either I'm going to be an octopus, or I'm going to learn to use the automation, or, you know, we're going to do some cheerleader mixing where everybody's there, and, you know, all the channels have got marks on, and this is what I've got to do at this part. So, you know, th I guess there's a multitude of ways of doing it. And I think, you know, if people are involved in it, and the mixing of it, and maybe doing bits of automation, sometimes that's better than you know, one person sitting there <laughs> and you know. but I think ultimately you have to have an idea in your head of what you want to achieve as well you know, a, a picture you know, a, a sonic picture of what you want to achieve